The land and the sea are two very different environments. Here, they collide. What wildlife can be found in this beautiful but extreme coastal region in Northern Ireland? A large family lives here at White Park Bay. But who? A rabbit. And not just one. Tuck behind the sand dunes, a whole colony of rabbits. They are herbivores, meaning they only eat plants. They are, however, pretty picky about what part of the plants they eat. They prefer eating the softer leaves and flowers over the tougher stems. Rabbits are careful cleaners. Their rough tongues are specially adapted to help keep their fur clean. Don't forget behind the ears! All that eating and washing is hard work. Time to relax. Rabbits must always remain alert for potential predators. Birds of prey will sometimes hunt young rabbits. Uh-oh. What's that? <gasps> oh! A thrush. It's not a threat. Unless you're an earthworm. Back into the safety of the warren. Rabbits aren't the only animals you find at White Park Bay. What is that? A cow? On a beach? The cows visit the beach from their pastures on the cliffs. Although they might be enjoying a sunbathe, it's unlikely they'll be going for a swim. Rathlin Island is Northern Ireland's only inhabited island. Only 150 people live there. It is reached by a ferry that crosses the Sea of Moyle from the mainland. Northern Ireland's largest seabird colony. Here, thousands of seabirds live on the coast for the summer months. It's a sight and sound to behold. Seabirds are perfectly at home at sea and most only come ashore to nest on the cliffs. The seabirds pair up and prepare to raise a chick together. This is the only time of year these razorbills can be found on land. With the sheer number of birds, space is limited. They must all cram closely together. Whoops! Bit of a tight squeeze. The lack of space means that intruders are not tolerated. That's seen him off.
Nesting at the edge of the sea is ideal for this many seabirds. It means they're right next to their food source, fish. Something else can be found on the coast of Rathlin Island. Seals. Both common and grey seals come out of the sea and bask on the rocks. They are mammals specially adapted for life in the water. This grey seal has two layers of fur and a layer of blubber which helps keep it warm underwater. They have powerful web flippers and streamlined bodies that make them fantastic swimmers. Their nostrils naturally close when they dive underwater and hunt fish. While they might be extremely agile underwater, on land they are very clumsy. They have to bounce and wriggle onto land using their front flippers and abdominal muscles. This big grey male is on patrol. Other males are not tolerated. Seals haul themselves out onto shore to rest, warm up, dry off or to give birth. They will waddle back into the sea when they are ready. Valentoy is back on the mainland of Northern Ireland. Here it is not obvious where the land ends and the sea begins. An enchanting world lies below the surface of the water. The secret array of life in a rock pool is revealed when the tide goes out. A shore crab. She is at risk here both from predators and overheating in the hot sun. The cool pool. That's better. Rock pools are places of constant variation. The creatures within must be tough enough to cope with the rapid changes to their environment. This hermit crab is a crustacean, which means it has an external skeleton. Imagine having bones on the outside of your body. Its eyes are on top of its long, movable stalks, which means it can see in multiple directions. Hermit crabs need shells to protect their soft abdomens, but they don't grow their own shells. They pinch the empty shells of sea snails. That's why they're all different colours.
tiny crabs aren't the only animals to use rock pools. These eider ducks are making use of the shelter and food the larger rock pools have to offer. Life on the coast comes in many forms. From tiny crustaceans, to large mammals, a variety of animals manage to live in this unique environment. The coast is undeniably connected to the sea.